Right, everyone, here's Jerson Lane. I've just come through there. I had to come over the fence further down because that's covered in barbed wire. Just past the uh, um, burial mound there. And down the bottom of the lane is, a, a, is where I would have come out of a field out there yesterday and then gone up that way to get on the, a little road that passes the um, caravan site. Well, I have decided, and you go that way, you see. So there's two ways you could go. Most people would probably go that way and round the fields, make it more interesting. You're not so long on the road then. The so pretty's only just there. It's not really far. But I've decided to uh, forget about the rugby. I mean, it's more important for me to be out and sitting in. I've got all evening to sit in. I've, this has got to be done now. So I've in the a couple of years ago, I, I was coming down this way and then turning off there because I knew that would take me away from Pretty at that particular time. So it looks like you could probably walk in those fields all the way up to um, Upper Pitts Farm. I think you could probably could walk all the way. But as soon as there's a nice track here, it's just getting to know the area. That's the thing, getting to know the area, where the fields are, where the turnings are. And, uh, and all that. So what happens in a minute, Durston, Upper Pitts Farm's over there where I was earlier. Then I got up onto the top and went down into Ebber Gorge, Ebber Wood, which becomes Durston Wood. And I just followed a track that brought me back out onto the, this field section. I didn't have the energy yesterday to uh, complete the walk I wanted to do. But I have got the energy today. So when I get up the top here, I'll make a decision. I'll either go back partly the way I came, or I'm going to do a slightly different route and go along the original track I normally do. And I'll still end up at the church. So I might do that. Like I say, I do, sometimes I do the videos quite long because then you get the real impression of the walk. My breathing's recovered quite a lot now as to what it was earlier today. The antiacid has alleviated the pressure under my rib cage. And um, I feel like I've got to keep walking actually, rather than get all crunched up and sat, sit down and all that. Durston Farm, I keep calling it Durston Farm, it's Upper Pitts Farm, is over there, where I met the little collie. And he guided me through the farm to the gate, like he would sheep. And it was on this lane, it seems like a week ago, but it was only yesterday, I met the, the lady on her chestnut horse uh, coming along here, who, who told me about a, a few little routes that I, and I, t I, did, I did actually do a route, a different route. I didn't go through um, Upper Pitts Farm yesterday. I went round it and, and swooped round to have a good view of the area. But, um, once again, I'm glad I wore my boots. They're not totally waterproof. I found that by the time I got home yesterday, my feet were a bit wet. They were damp. So, they're not perfect, but they're better than nothing. Uh, you feel like with a big, thick pair of socks on that, you know, you can't really feel it until later anyway. But they're not totally le leaking. Um... 
So this is it. In a minute we'll come to the decision crossroad I'll call it because I've got to decide whether I'm going to go and walk back through Lower Pitts Farm or do I want to go further along and go back the route I followed yesterday towards this place. So there we are. There's some, um, and I've got a feeling those fields would event these fields here would take me out this way anyway. But I think they'll be filled with cows in the summer. So I'm I'm quite pleased that I've actually done a bit more exploring around this area. It makes it nice to have various circular walks and also to know uh, quicker or longer routes depending on how you feel. Um, now obviously younger people with, who are fit wouldn't, they would might find it a bit slow walking with me and uh, small children would get frustrated who are fit to small children I mean, say 12 year olds. They'd want to zoom ahead you see. Um, and then if you took a 10 year old they might get tired. So you'd have to plan it so that you were based in the say Ebra Gorge and just kept in there. Um, and by the time the kids are big enough to walk what I've done today um, <clears throat> I think they'll want to go at their pace so I wouldn't want to hold them back if you know what I mean because I cannot go faster I tried yesterday I met a woman called Jane and we she she was admiring the gorge so I was just pointing out a few features to her and um, we were going uphill and there were steps and I missed a lot because I was talking and communicating I actually missed so there's a couple of features that I will want to do again, um, but they don't necessarily have to be done this year, if you know what I mean. I, I could leave it to, to the autumn. There's just a couple of things I, I think I missed, which you do. That's the problem when you go out in a group. You miss the little things, that surface, even if it's an odd brick or a piece of metal. Um, or a turning because I actually missed a, I was before I met, bumped into her I was actually looking for um, some steps and I must have missed them so that's because I was distracted I call it but it is good to, to meet people but um, I don't mind walking on my own I really don't mind as long as you've got a small first aid kit, a mobile phone, a little bit of food, some sweets, some uh, I haven't even had a drink yet. Now this will be completely different in the summer. In the summer I'll be topped up with one quite, well not a huge bottle of water, but a bottle that will fit quite a, a wide one. That's you can hold in your hand, not so wide that you can't hold it, and um, and a smaller one. In the winter, I carry a flask of hot water, which I've actually left in the camper van today because I know I wouldn't need it. And um, I have somebody up there. And um, less in the winter, but I carry, always carry oranges as well. You need lots of fluid, you see. I'm going to turn off now. We're coming up to the junction where the West Mendip Way, which is what we're on at the moment, goes through um, Upper Pitts Farm there, over and out. <laughs> 